Hi everyone, I'm Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my studio and welcome to my channel. Uh, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And today I'm bringing you a Dollarama haul. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Dollarama, Dollarama is a chain of stores that we have here in Canada. Originally they were dollar stores and now they're like uh, a dollar plus dollar more store um i the items range between one and four dollars in in canadian money of course so i went to dollar tree and to dollarama today and i bought a lot, a lot a lot of stuff and i already filmed the dollar tree haul and i mentioned in that video that i've also been doing a lot of online shopping and i was expecting packages to come in and packages ha are coming in. They're trickling in from all that online shopping that I did. And also some other stuff that I wasn't expecting that some uh, companies uh, have sent me for uh, my work and for reviews and all that. So I've got a lot to share with you. And so let's get started with uh, Dollarama. So I went there today and one thing I, I wanted to find I was hoping to find there because I was dreading going to the uh, garden center or a hardware store to find this because I knew I'd pay more and it was this high output sprayer uh, this is the brand is Schmidt I got this for four dollars and it's got a nozzle spray thingy with a long tube and a big canister so it's one gallon so we can um, what what the intention for this is is to put some product that we have and it's all natural all bio because we're not allowed to use uh, pesticides here so everything has to be natural products and um, the we have a product for controlling uh, ants and spiders and little, you know, little creepy crawly things from, uh, you know, entering our house. And we always spray that in the springtime outside. And the bottle that we have from last year um, with the stuff in it is is about this size. And it's about, this, it's the same system, but the thingy's not working anymore. So, this with a big funnel that I already have will hopefully uh, do the trick. We will transfer the stuff from the other bottle into this bottle. And hopefully it'll work. Or maybe just move the mechanism over to the other bottle. Hopefully it fits. So that is that. I'm just trying to salvage the product that I already have because it, it's not cheap when you buy a big bottle of that kind of uh, pesticide that's safe for the environment. Uh, another thing I picked up, I wasn't looking for this, but I thought, oh, this is this could be practical, is um, this water care, a collapsible water carrier bag. It is sold in the camp, the camping, so it's in the seasonal stuff. It's all about the camping stuff. Um, this is always a good to have, and I just wanted to have one for us. Uh, yes, in case of any kind of emergency, it, it, it is good to have this. It is good to have this if you go camping and you need to bring water with you. And uh, sometimes if there's a water shortage or the town needs to turn off the water temporarily for repairs, it's nice to uh, reserve some drinking water and some other water. You know, we could save water for the, the bath and the toilet and all that. But this is a practical thing to have because so, you could put a lot of water in here it it, it actually holds uh, 20 liters or 676 fluid ounces so it's like a squished bag but once the water fills it it's like this big brick of water so and it has the little valve there so you can just you know get the water from the little Uh, good for camping, good if you are working outside and you don't have water nearby, uh, good for, uh, like I said, if you have to be without water temporarily, good in an emergency. 
Another thing that they had in the camp st camping stuff, and I didn't go there to buy these things, but I saw them and I thought they they're kind of, they're practical and they're a good price. Really, that's much cheaper than I would pay at the um, nature camping gear or store, whatever you call it. So uh, yeah, and I wouldn't go to a store like that. I never I never do. So the fact that it's fi I could find this a Dollarama is awesome. Um, and I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't looking for it. I also saw this. It's a little hanging light. And the idea is it's a battery operated light. There's supposed to be four LED lights inside, four little LED lights. It is operated with three batteries. It has a little hook and it's a string. So it's not big, but they, they sell this with the intent that you could have a light in your tent for camping. So this is the size of it and it's actually quite cute. Um, but when I saw this, I thought, you know what, this is good to use also in a place where you don't have any electricity. Like I'm thinking my shed. I don't have electricity in my shed and sometimes it like, you know, would be good to have a little light in there. Or even my greenhouse. I know your greenhouse will, so, you know, sometimes early in the morning or at night, if I have to go there, I don't really need to go in the greenhouse at night, but uh, the shed sometimes, you know, uh, you know, it's just to have that little light there and there's, you know, it's not bright in the shed. So um, I just thought that would be practical to have. So, and this was, uh, it was only two dollars and fifty cents, so it's pretty good. It's great if you go camping too. We don't camp, but we have stuff if we go if we wanted to go camping. All right, so that is the boring stuff. Now, uh, when I walked down the aisle for where they had the children's toys and stuff, and I don't I don't spend a lot of time there because my kids are grown now and it, it, it's kind of sad sometimes because I see things and like when I see Thomas the Tank Engine and stuff I'm like oh my god you know I, my son used to uh, love that and I would have loved to have found that stuff when he was little at the dollar store but uh, of course he doesn't play with uh, trains anymore so and my other son doesn't play with fire trucks anymore so uh, but I always check because sometimes there's something else there that shouldn't be there or there's something that I can use in a in a craft project, a DIY, or this is a cute decor thing. So, And I don't think this should have been in the children's aisle, but um, it was. Uh, it's a set. It's a little tin. It says it's a Bonnie Marcus collection, shaped pop-up uh, notes. And it comes with stickers too. And there are 20 little notes in here. And, and I'll open it up for you. And I think these are adorable. These are great to give to uh, my women friends. And uh, not just like, it's not just for girls, definitely. So you get these, a set of these little cards, all these with these cute sayings, all very girlish, very feminine about, you know, um, my idea of a balanced diet. Yeah. And um, and it pops out. You fold it and pop. It's just, you know, it's a cute, it's a cute set of note cards. And there's the 20 in here are all different. And uh, like this one says, "Happy birthday, uh, retail." It's um, it's not called shopping. It's called retail therapy. You know, things like that. Very cute, girly things. So I thought this nice, nice way to send a little note to a friend. Put this with a little gift. And so this was two dollars. Now we are we're out of treats, completely out of treats in our house. Um, so I decided to get some. So uh, you've seen me buy these before, but it's been since that last that time that I've bought treats. So I got the 156 gram of Reese's uh, snack cups, snack size uh, peanut butter cups. There's 10 in here, and so they're individually wrapped. These are $2. Um, same for the Hershey's chocolate and cream. There's 10 in here. They're all $2, what I'm showing you. 
the O. Henry. So you got ten in there. Have the little, the small O. Henrys. And ten of the Coffee Crisp. And ten of the Kit Kat. And I also got them the Mars Bar. So you get ten of those little mini Mars Bars. So those I think will be appreciated. And I do have other treats, but they're in the other bag. So it, yeah, it's kind of all over the place today. Uh, I picked up this cookbook. I'd seen this cookbook several times and I kept bypassing it, but I thought I have to get it because uh, it's about Cuban cu cuisine. It's in French, but I really wanted to get this because uh, we talk a lot about going to Cuba and we talk, ab and we talk a lot about politics in our house and uh uh Chico Rivera oh, whatever his name there I can't I can't pronounce it right uh so we talk about uh you know politics and other countries and stuff and and we like to, to chat and we like to try different cuisines and uh we have tried some Cuban cuisine and we really liked it. And so when I saw this book, I was like, not just for the recipes, but for the wonderful photography in it and artwork. And uh, since my, my sons are really into understanding other cultures and foreign policy and stuff, I, I thought they might enjoy this book, not only for the wonderful recipes, but for uh, the images and they could see glimpses of Cuba and stuff. So uh, I got that for them. Well, I got it for me too, because I've been admiring this book for a while. Um, the other thing I picked up, uh, I saw this gift bag and I wasn't in need of a gift bag, but I, I had to buy it because I thought I'm, I can, I definitely will use this for a future gift. And if there had been more than one, I would have bought more than one because I know a lot of people <laughs> would appreciate this gift bag. So here's the gift bag I'm referring to. Uh, this is a kitty of course I had to get it for the kitty cat even though it doesn't look anything like my kitty cat it's a cat and it says on here oh it's your birthday that's cool I guess you know I have like seven of those each year <laughs> but yeah whatever <laughs> oh, I love that so uh and this bag was a dollar twenty-five, so I thought that was really fun. And did I mention the book that I bought? That I bought here, this cookbook here, is uh, four dollars, and it is it is written in French. That is true, but uh, that's not an issue for us here. And I used my gift cards to buy myself a few things including some coloring books that I didn't need but that I thought were such good value and they're beautiful coloring books I just had to get them now this coloring book is massive check this out it is really it's thick it is very thick it has very th thick it has thick pages too which is great for coloring they're not thin they're nice and bright white uh, too bad though that they're they're not printed on individual pages you have an image on both sides of the pages when I saw that I looked for a second one so I would feel I you know I would like to be able to pull the pages out and and keep the images after I colored them and uh, they didn't have a second one though this was the only copy that was available so I got this one copy and this huge book and I'd like to tell you how big it is um, it says coloring for Tran tranquility uh, color your way to happiness and harmony uh, it's uh, by Paragon it's not one author it's i guess it's a compilation of different designs from different artists they don't give credit to any of them and it doesn't say how much this is um 
but I know that I would pay a lot more than three dollars if I tried to purchase this in another store or online so it, it's it's substantial now the other coloring book I bought myself is this one uh, this one is an, a Kathy Ireland design designed coloring book it is by published by Ben Don and it is also three dollars and it's much smaller than the other one but then again it is their designer um, you know it's they do a cre they do give credit to the artist and this one um, does have a drawing per page an image per page to color so that's fun and they they do have perforated pages so you can uh, take them out of the, the book when you're done or before to work on and there's some beautiful images in here and it's called immerse yourself in a world of creativity gardens so you have a whole the whole garden theme there's lots of vegetation of course some beautiful butterflies some animals some flowers uh, you just have a mishmash then look at the the bicycle with the banana seat and the daisy wheels here's that and you know there's lots of nice things to do with this so i got this one the next one i got is um, this, does this one say how much? This one was three dollars, but it doesn't say how much it would be in the bookstore. Uh, this one is uh, Hello Angel Majestic a Animals Coloring Collection, uh, Angela Van Dam. Uh, the that's the artist that designed all the uh images in here illustrations and this one is $9.95 US usually in the store and I believe it was two or three dollars I'm not sure there's no price on it I'm assuming it's three dollars if I'm wrong I will post that below and inside uh, there's a lot from the artist there's inspiration of her own colorings so you can get uh, ideas for what you can do and tips on coloring information on, on the type of coloring you can do with this and types of tools you can use and just some beautiful uh, examples of what you can do or what has been done and again, uh, each page, each uh, design is on an individual page. And this one's not doesn't have the perforation stuff, but um, yeah. So this one looks like a lot of fun. The other one that I picked up is this one, um, inspirational quotes, advanced coloring dream higher than the sky and deeper than the ocean uh, this is another Ben Don publication it was three dollars at Dollarama it's not that thick but it has a lot of uh, fun images and some really inspirational quotes as the title suggests so I thought these are very good to give um, maybe a younger person, uh, especially a younger person who's having maybe, you know, issues with confidence and stuff, but or just to, for coloring and creating some nice inspirational images uh, for your decor. And then this one is Inspired Coloring Nature. Uh, coloring to relax and free your mind. Uh, I, I'm assuming I paid three dollars for this one. It doesn't have uh, an artist named inside so this is probably a compilation of artists that were paid very little money. <laughs> um, 
Designed by Lexi Lestov. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All images courtesy of Shutterstock. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So it's... There we go. And there's already some color uh, in there. You know, just, I guess, to get you started or whatever. So... There you go. All these, these images. So, those are the coloring books I purchased. And I'm just checking really, really quick. I actually have one of the coloring books in here. They were all, one was $2 and one was $1.50. So, one of these was $2 and the other one was $1.50. So, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, they're beautiful images, so I think it's it's well worth the money. Those are really good prices for coloring books. In this bag, I have two packages of these Garden Cam Long Cuff Disposable Nitro Gloves. And there are two pairs in here. And uh, these... I think were two dollars or something. I think uh, gloves. I saw that gloves. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. These are actually a dollar twenty-five. So they are disposable gloves, but they're very long. I just thought these would be practical um, for all sorts of dirty jobs that need to get done. Even in my studio, sometimes I I, I get dirt up my arms. So good thing to have. I picked up this uh, pink glue pad, glue gun pad. I have a few others already, but um, I wanted another. This is a silicone mat, and I just wanted another silicone mat for um, some flowers that I want to make. And this was $2. I picked up again the French's barbecue sauce. Uh, these are two for $1.25. I have to go make some of this because we are having uh, chicken and potatoes tonight for supper. So I got it and I got to go heat that up. I was very uh, surprised to see another color that I did not haul in all these spray paints that I hauled already. Uh, this one is in pink, so this spray paint, liquid spray paint, and a this pump paint, it's craft paint. Uh, I've played with the other ones that I bought, and they work really well, so I, this is a super good deal at $1.50 for this bottle of spray paint. Another treat that I got for my guys are the sugar cones, the 15 pack. They're not the maple ones, they're just the sugar ones, but uh, these are yummy. So I got this for my guys, and I think the pack of 15 is $2. And in the, oh, no, no, I got, I got a few more snacks. This is only a dollar, and you get six packs of these sandwich crackers with cheese. So I'm not sure how many there are in here, but there's six individual packs. I think there's like two per pack. So um, I used to put some stuff like this in my kids' lunches when they were in school. I don't, I don't make the lunch for them anymore, but uh, I thought, oh, they might like to snack on these once in a while or if you have to go in the car somewhere throw a little snack in the car uh, speaking of food <laughs> I got this thing of roll out lettuce so basically it's it's like a little carpet with the seeds and it. it's just like a roll of paper basically and it has all the seeds for growing your own lettuce so I got that this is three dollars and it's got a variety of lettuce if it succeeds. Okay. Uh, in the kitchen section, I thought this was a good deal. That For $2, I got this whole pack of 
free flow pourers. There's 12 in here? So there's 12 of those. These are the things that you put on bottles. Uh, you can put these on bottles of like booze and but you can also put these on bottles of syrup and sauce and vinegar and all sorts of things. So and to convert the bottle from a big pour to a little pour. So uh, or a straight stream, you know, pouring. So uh, yeah, two bucks. But that was a good deal. Always practical to have that. Especially in the summer where we use we grill a lot of meats and we use a lot of different sauces and yeah. I got some of these Sassy Designs hair elastics, the squiggly ones. These are like the fabric. I like these so much better than the rubbery ones. And I, they had them in brown, so it's perfect for me. So I got this. You got a pack of four, $1.25. I know, like, I was watching, what was it? I was watching. I know Vanessa once did, like, scissors always disappear in her house and share was saying when you need a black marker, you can never find one. Well, on my in my house, it's like scissors, black markers, and hair elastics. Always disappearing and never one in sight when you need one. So uh, I got more of those. I saw everybody else hauling these, and I got some myself when I saw them. The little clothespins with the succulents on them. And you get 10 in here for a dollar 25 and this one has little owls the cute owls so again 10 a dollar 25 I saw someone haul these wooden spools a uh, dollarama this was the last package left so I grabbed it and a dollar $25, $1.50 for this package of wooden spools. These are fun for crafting. There's a lot of things you can do with them. I've used these to make stamping tools. I use these uh, in crafts. Uh, there's, yeah, there's multiple things. And I collect vintage, like antique wooden spools too. I just have a thing for wooden spools. So I got those. And this is the other size that they have, this one, but they still had a f several packages of this one left. So these are the more standard size and these are the more tall size. Uh, oh, picked up vitamins, saved me a trip to the pharmacy. Uh, got some B12, there's 60 in here for $4. Cheaper than going to the pharmacy to buy my vitamins. Uh, I got me some other vitamins. They are vitamin T for turtles. They're not tur They're not vitamins, but they're yummy. They make me very happy. And uh, lights. I got the fiber optic string lights that I've seen some people haul. My store only had them in white, and that's fine because that's all I wanted. So I got a few of these. And these are $1.50 for these optical lights. And, 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 and. Oh, back in the kids' toy aisle, I did pick up some toys. Like I said, I go there sometimes uh, and I look at things that I can reuse in my crafts. And I saw these. I don't know what these are. Marajuku charms. Marajuku. I have no idea. I'm totally clueless. I don't have a little girl. It is a little thingy by Mattel. It looks like it's like a ring. It has tiny holes and then you put all these little charms around it. And just got these because I thought these might be cute uh, in like, you know, pocket letters or all sorts of things. So I got that one. Oh, and this one I got it because they had a kitty. So, and I think these are $2 a piece. So, yeah. I, there must be a lot more at the toy store. I'm sure they are. Oh, and I couldn't resist this. A scunchy, uh hair emergency kit. A hair emergency kit. And I, they had these in different colored pouches. These cute little pouches. And I took this one because it's rose gold. I really wanted it just for the rose gold pouch. And this is $2. And inside there are uh, 
It says poly bands, boppy pins, elastic, a wide head wrap, a thin head wrap, and a mini jaw clip. So it says hair emergency, you got this. The you from Squinchy. So I got this and it, it will match in my new purse perfectly. All right, I have one last bag. I really want to get this done because my sons are walking around outside like, Mom, when are you going to make supper? Got this um, non-skid turntable or what I like to call a lazy Susan. Uh, these are four dollars at Dollarama. I have bought, I have one right now in my kitchen, and we put all sorts of oils and spices by the stovetop. Uh, we use it for when we're cooking. It's great. It works well. Uh, much better than the other ones I had bought at Dollar Tree. They don't work so good. And I just got this to use in my studio here for because I have so much stuff. So, yeah, I'll be using, I think I'll be using it here. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is this weird stuff. Ow! These spiky things. Um, the animal repellent mats. Yeah, and, and they're spiky on both. They're plastic, so that's why I'm not bleeding. Uh, but they're spiky, and there's two on here, and apparently you can put these along the garden to keep critters out so I'll see if this works um, around my fence that has yet to be properly adjusted after being installed the last year I'm still waiting uh, so now there's like a gap under the fence this is a nice fence it will keep out the deer but doesn't keep out anything else uh, so hopefully uh, maybe I can plug the hole that space there with that until it actually does get fixed if it ever gets fixed and uh, these are two dollars and fifty cents a piece they measure do they say what they measure but they're this long <laughs> it's like two feet or something uh, they have this bicycle and I I was like, oh, what a nice wall decoration. And it has these little things here, these little rings that you can bend down. And it's actually, I guess it's, you can put like flower pots or maybe some glass vases and candles. And you could put this on your wall. It's got the hooky things at the back. And I just thought, oh, this is so pretty. And, you know, you could spray paint this any color. I just thought it was really nice. And $4.00. And I dare you to go to another store like Winners or something and you could look for this, something similar to this, and I'm sure it's more than $4. So, yeah, I thought this was good. I have no idea where it's going, but I thought it was really cute. A couple more treats to show you. A box of raspberry flavored Viva Puffs. These were $2. A box of Wagon Wheels. There are nine in here. These were also $2. A food item for my guys who like hot peppers and stuff. This is one dollar. One dollar. An item for one dollar at Dollarama. Uh, pepperoncini. So they're like whole pickles. I don't know if they're hot, they're sweet, they're sour, whatever. But we'll give it a try. They like to try things. I picked up this. This is from Rite Aid. So that's a, not a drugstore in the U.S. Um, it's a cosmetic bag renewal and it's meshy it's it's filled with paper so you can't see that it's it's kind of transparent it's it's mesh so see my finger that is yeah because it, it's stuffed with paper right now but it has two levels it has this level here and that level so this uh could be used for cosmetics could be used for some uh electronic equipment when you travel maybe even some art supplies there's multiple ways you could use this bag and i believe i believe these were three they're three or four dollars i've been using a lot of these little bins clear bins and you get two of these for a dollar 25 at dollarama i use these to organize things in drawers and then i picked up this bizarre looking thing it's called adjustable storage dental care so I, I can't really explain it to you very well there's a picture of it so but I did not buy it for hanging toothbrushes and tooth 
paste tubes uh, because it has this thing that you can hang over a cupboard door. Although, if you have an RV or if you have limited space in your bathroom or something, excellent. But I thought, and it's got clips that you clip into this thing and this thing can be hanging from anywhere on here. It's like a plastic pegboard thing that you hang. I could hang this from one of my many <laughs> craft carts in my studio and it would be perfect to hold paint brushes. There's even little clips so I could, you know, let a paintbrush dry or something. Um, it's got drip holes. I just thought this is a good organizing thing to use in my studio. And this was $3.50, I believe. And it seems to be well made. It's one of those things like, you know, I would have at Ikea, one of those organizing things. So big jug of hand soap this is two dollars you get a lot in here so it's for refilling the smaller bottle we're almost done we're almost done and my boys are really they're hungry <laughs> um now my son's talking to google yeah my husband got a google google home thing there's a thing that you talk to so it's a novelty right now in the house, so they're talking to it. They ask it stupid questions. Sometimes Google answers them, which is quite hilarious. Um, I got this for hubby. It's just Rockstar energy drink, sugar-free. Apparently you need that when you play golf. I got this pink placemat because I thought it was a lovely, lovely shade of pink and it will look lovely here in my studio and it is $1.50. Now, the other thing I picked up for my studio and I thought, I know I could make this because I could get a cheaper vase like this at Dollar Tree and the candle and the sand, but I didn't, I knew I couldn't get this color and so I paid the $4 from Dollarama to get this vase with the colored sand and the little um, Watson's candles, which is a good candle. And I said, oh, I'm going to make some other ones for my house just like this, but I'll do the little cheaper than 4 bucks. Actually, I don't know. Maybe it'll come out to 4 bucks by the time I'm done buying everything to put them together when you think about it. Almost. <laughs> so, got that. And, oh, another pinky thing for my studio is a pencil cup holder. These are $2. It was the only pink one. Every time I go to Dollarama, I see some of these, and I see them in all the different colors. It's the first time I see one in pink. So I grabbed it. And, 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 oh, two more things to show you. And more pinky stuff. Flamingos! These are, you know, they're, they're fake ice cubes. They're filled with like water and you toss these in the freezer and you know, they freeze. And then you keep, this helps keep your drink cold in the summertime without adding ice. They're pink flamingos. How could I not get these? They're hilarious. And so you get this whole bag of pink flamingos and does it say how much are in here? There's 18. I get 18 flamingos for a dollar twenty-five. People, 18 little flamingos. What a deal! And last but not least, I picked up this sweet little lady gnome, and she will be going in my plant thingy. And it is so she she can help water my little garden my planter that I got at Mother's Day, and she is only $1.50. And that is that for my Dollarama haul. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you like, I hope you give it a thumbs up and share and leave your comments and uh, let me know what other kinds of videos you'd like me to do. And until next time, take care of yourself and I'll catch you after the next video. Bye-bye.